the guys Ty here it's gonna be a quick update it's not gonna be a more in-depth forecast analysis because I only have a few minutes before I have to go to work here but very dangerous setup coming back into play once again for today and also tomorrow where there's an enhancer for day two as well now we've been talking about this setup for today for a little bit here but we're also going to kind of discuss day two but main threat for today is hail, but there is a hatch risk for tornadoes and a chance of discrete supercells towards this region over here towards Missouri, Kansas, Arkansas, and also Oklahoma here, mainly towards Northeast Oklahoma. So we'll have to watch and see how things play out here. I do think that we will see embedded supercells with a linear threat today. This kind of showing in particular on the HRRR's composite reflectivity here. So... We'll start to see some initiation right around lunchtime, but business will really start to pick up right around about, I would say, three o'clock central time and really take off by the time we get towards about six, seven o'clock central. And then, of course, we have tomorrow's threat to talk about as well. This has a threat for maybe even a few strong tornadoes with this, too. They may extend this area a little further to the north here as well, because I'm seeing a lot of really strong reflectivity in regards to tomorrow's threat. I really think tomorrow's kind of being slept on in a way. So we see some early initiation, early initiation, or maybe even a confluence band that tries to develop overnight. Kind of chums up the atmosphere for tomorrow's setup. By lunchtime, we see multiple modes of storms over different areas. And this is going to be due in large part to a little cyclone over here at the upper to mid levels that's going to help create a little bit of uh, backing over here as we get into the afternoon here for Tuesday. And then you can kind of see the evidence here with this little gap right here towards multiple regions. So even though southern Ohio is under the gun here, northern Ohio, you have to be watching as well. And then over here towards eastern Kentucky you need to be watching in particular as well. I think there will be a couple of different modes of severe weather. We could see a few discrete supercells, but I think we're mainly going to be looking at things that are really linear mode for the most part. The threat does exist for strong tornadoes with this set with both days, in my personal opinion. While I think today has the slightly better chance of stronger tornadoes, it will be unwise to say that tomorrow doesn't either. We've been surprised plenty of times before this year. And in particular, the Ohio Valley has been a hot spot. And this definitely has the lower level jet going in a spot where it's more than plausible for that to still occur. Just a reminder, that mid-May, that mid-March setup that we had earlier this year definitely comes into play. And other parameters are present to help assist this as well, mainly through this broad moist sector and the warm sector that will coincide along with it. So if we look at both of these days here, once again, in regards to the in regards to the reflectivity, evidence is definitely there. This is tonight's setup, and then this is getting into tomorrow's setup. So make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do to stay weather aware. I'll see you this afternoon. We will be live streaming. Hope to see you there. Until then, it's been Tyre Metalhead Weatherman. You take care.